I am presenting at ESMO 2020 in the second presidential session, the results of the high potential 150 study. This is based on the hypothesis that combined androgen receptor and AKT blockade is superior to, AK, to AR blockade alone, particularly for prostate cancers with evidence of hyperactivation of AKT signaling. The trial randomized 1,100 uh, patients to hyperassertive, the AKT oral inhibitor, and the abiraterone versus abiraterone and placebo. The co-primary endpoints were investigate-initiated RPFS for the P10 loss population by IHC and the RPFS for the ITT population. And the trial um, showed superiority for the combination arm with a 23% reduction in risk of progression, a hazard ratio of 0.77 with a p-value of 0.03. 95% CIs of 0.61 and 0.98. I should say that we saw similarly an improved RPFS for the combination in the ITT population, although this was um, down to a hazard ratio of 0.84, 95% CIs of 0.71 and 0.99, which was statistically significant at 0.04, but did not meet the pre-specified significance required of uh, alpha of 0.01. The trial showed that the combination also had superior anti-tumor activity based on resist, for example, increasing the complete response rate threefold in uh, the P10 loss population from 6% to 19%, superior PSA response rate, particularly for the P10 loss population, but also for the ITT population. And the combination also had superior time to PSA progression, with some preliminary evidence suggesting superiority of time to pain progression and time to chemotherapy. Importantly, in pre-specified analysis, also the combination was superior for tumors that had P10 loss uh, by genomic analysis, by next generation sequencing. Finally, we had evidence that the combination had more toxicity than a single agent, necessitating uh, more discontinuations and dose reductions, although we believe that this may be managed and uh, prevented by the use of prophylactic antidiarrheals and antihistamine treatment, since this was largely due to diarrhea and skin rash. In conclusion, this combination appears superior to abiraterone alone, particularly for tumors with evidence of PI3K AKT activation through primarily P10 loss.